And the Lakers all decked out as they made their way off the bus and in. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Detroit Pistons going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. And here's what the schedule looks like for the Los Angeles Lakers. On Monday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. And then on Wednesday, they continue the road trip heading out to Detroit. They'll take on the Pistons. And for that game against the Thunder, it's going to be a, a bit of a measuring stick for them. See just how they stack up with a team that most would feel has the edge. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Reddish out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Prince in at the small forward position. And for Detroit, we've got Duran. Cunningham is out there with Hayes. Then it's Thompson, and it's Stewart in at the fourth slot. And Greg on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south in a hurry. Prince can hit. It's Thompson off the drive. That's in coming off the assist from Cunningham. Thompson's got the first basket of the game for the Pistons. And the pass to Russell. Outside, Davis. Passes to Reddish. Fires for three. Detroit with the rebound. Defeated by the Pacers in the last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. They just got overwhelmed. We knew that game was going to be a tough one for them, and we were right. Ugly, ugly display. I thought they'd be more competitive, but I was wrong. Count that bucket. The effort from Hayes doesn't go unrewarded. Able to find himself a look in the mid-range. Pass to Reddish. It's Prince on the wing. James has a two-pointer. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. And GA, in your opinion, what's the main order of business when you look at the first-year Pistons coaching staff? Kevin, for me, it's they got to clean up the foul. It's often a problem for young teams, but they have the quickness and size to stay in front of people and just force contested shots. Clearly a foul. The Pistons shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. The first free throw is good. one falls so he hits both of them we know Greg LA's challenge recently has been finding the right supporting cast for their stars and they're looking for that perfect fit and sometimes that's all it takes you know it's finding those perfect one or two other guys to get you there and that one's good by LeBron always a good sign when LeBron is hitting jumpers confidence is on the rise pass to Cunningham Stewart, a screen for Cunningham. Over Russell. Cunningham's shot is off. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. There's the pass to Davis. The shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Nice job by the defender. Makes it a tough shot, but AD's talent wins out. Cunningham passes to Durant. Thompson finds Cunningham. 
Down to five on the shot clock. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on D'Angelo Russell. Smitty, even though the injuries limited Cade Cunningham in those first two seasons, his ceiling has to remain very high. It is, G.A., because of his basketball IQ and court vision. They are impressive for his age. He's got the size and athleticism. And plus, he's dedicated on getting better. He's off on the first. Here we see the Detroit Pistons, Greg, a franchise known for stifling defense. And going back to back with the bad boys, then the amazing 2004 title team that shut down Shaq and Kobe. When the Pistons have been great, they've had that defense first mentality. And he can't hit the second. And really, as solid as he's been at the line, I had already chalked those points up. Those to show you, though, don't take anything for granted. Now, here is Russell. Coming in off a 10-point game, his last outing. And Thompson kicks to Cunningham. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Fourteen feet away. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. James dishes to Davis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Davis has got his second basket of the game. You know, the attention LeBron James demands left his teammate open there, and he found him. Cunningham outside. Stewart passes to Thompson. To end the cold streak, the rebound by Prince. The Lakers have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. Russell finds James. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Outside Davis. Prince in the corner. Outside James. And he uses the glass on the layup. LeBron's got six. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. And here is our 2K leaderboard. These teams have been on fire over the course of the past 10 games. In third, the Lakers. They've just been taking smarter, higher percentage shots, and they are hitting them with regularity right now. Pistons trail by four. To Sasser. Here's Stewart. Will it go? Cranes it from beyond the arc. Stretching things out, Isaiah Stewart proving he's a modern big with a three point shot. Here's Reeves. Ivy defending. Passes it to Wood. Here's Hood Shafino. Shoots over Duran. Goes back up, and he sinks the layup. 
Davis has got his third basket of the night right there. Yeah that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Burks against Hachimura. Here's Ivy. He sinks the 11 footer. Gotta D up Jaden from the mid range. He doesn't lack confidence pulling up from there. Davis with a screen on Burks. A different look here for Detroit. James Wiseman, he's checked in for Jalen Duran. Marvin Bagley comes in for Isaiah Stewart. And Kate Cunningham subbed in for Alec Burks. Twenty nine seconds left here in the first quarter. Pass to LeBron. Inside deflects the pass and that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession and he jumped out to that ball immediately. Great reaction on that deflection. A little bit late there but you tried to get into your opponent's head force them to go somewhere else with the ball and he did that. Los Angeles making a switch here. Lewis has checked in. Just five to shoot. Here's James. And he elevates for the slam dunk and Marvin Bagley did not like that. Respect LeBron showing the artistry that other players could only dream of. Lewis against Cunningham. To the middle. And finished off by Wiseman. This is who you want leading that play. A sure passer with great awareness. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we'll be right back after this. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Lakers? Right now, it's their passing game, and it's been on point. Doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And also, guys, they're out-muscling their opponent. The points in the paint are piling up because of that aggressiveness. We've got Bagley. He's out there with Wiseman. Ivy is out there with Cade Cunningham. And it's Sasser in at the point. They're the group Detroit will start the second with. And so James will bring it up for L.A. And they're off to Philadelphia after this game as they'll take on the 76ers. And that game will be game three of five away from home. Ah, Steve, we're in and now, aren't we? What's it like at this point for the guys that have joined new teams? The key, Kevin, is to get comfortable. No excuses this far into the season not to be on the same page. They should know the playbook and their teammates. Now here is Hetchimura. He has yet to score. James kicks to Wood. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Here we are in November. Let's see how things are shaking out in the West early in the season. You take a look at Los Angeles. Solid start to the season so far, sitting in sixth place. You know, for Los Angeles, most of the preseason predictions were right on the money when it came to them. I mean, a playoff contender, but not necessarily championship caliber. I agree. As good as they've been, they do seem like they're missing that true killer instinct that sets the great teams apart from the good ones. Christie, he's checked in for the Lakers. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thanks very much. LeBron James still has a singular focus. He says, I'm a winner and I want to win. Competing for championships has been my goal since I entered the league. Once you know how to get there, playing basketball at this level, just to be playing basketball, is not in my DNA anymore. Kevin, he certainly has that special sauce. 
He is letting it be known in championship medal to boot. David, thank you. Here's Hayes following the basket by LeBron James. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. The pass to Hachimura. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And we know Hachimura has a confident personality. You see it there with the rise and fire approach. Nice. Now here's Hayes. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. Stripped away. Fast break. Here they come. Here's Christie. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Pistons trail by nine. Outside Bagley. Now here's Hayes. Defended by Christie. Bagley the pass to Wiseman. Four on the clock. Here's Hayes. Again the miss by the Pistons. The Lakers on offense. They've got an 8 nothing run. Pass to LeBron. Over Bagley. LeBron playing like a big man inside. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. Stewart checked in for Detroit. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis is checked in for Christian Wood. Prince comes in for Hachimura. Radish, he's checked in for Christie. And it's Russell in for Austin Reed. Here's Hayes. Cunningham passes to Thompson. Cunningham, a screen on Prince. Back to Cunningham. Again, the miss by the Pistons. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Russell sets a screen for James. Passes it to Reddish. Six to shoot. Back to LeBron. And they double up James. He doesn't hit that one. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. They need this one. That one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Hayes. Beautiful pass. At his size, Cunningham sees the whole floor. Pass to Reddish. Let's it go from deep. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. Yeah, great outside shooting really fueling this run. The pass to Stewart. Kicks to Thompson. Pass to Hayes. Thompson against Prince. Thompson passes to Wiseman. And finished off by Wiseman. Great awareness by Thompson wanting to find his open teammates whenever he can. Passes it to Reddish. Davis with it. He's got six. 
Pins outside. And a wide open look for James. That three off the mark. And it's Cunningham with the ball for Detroit. It's a 10 point game. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. And that will be the middle game of this three game homestand. So for the Pistons, Jalen Duran comes in for Wiseman. And Ivy subbed in for Cade Cunningham. And the Lakers also making a switch. Reeves is checked in. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Cunningham, he's checked in for Ivy. And with the moment, let's check out some stats for Thompson. Some impressive play from him over the last month. He's putting up about 12 points a game, nine rebounds, and three assists. But that's just part of the picture. His defensive presence goes beyond the stat sheet. And also, his defensive performance can be measured by the lack of offensive stats put up against him. 115 left in the second quarter. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Davis sets a screen. Loads it up for Davis. And Davis throws it down. Boy, he bodied them inside. Davis isn't shy about fighting for it. Pass to Cunningham. Over Russell. A rebound by the Lakers. Davis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Outside Russell. 36 seconds left here in the second. Now the pass to Reeves. Prince kicks to Russell. Oh good on the triple. Pistons trail by 12. Takes it inside. Hayes the pass to Cunningham. 11 seconds left in the first half. Six on the shot clock. Puts it up from 15. And yes, it's good. If you're the defense, you have to know where Cunningham is at all times. That'll do it for the first half. Lakers ahead. Ending the second quarter on a 15-6 run. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, guys. With head coach Monty Williams. Coach, how do you get things going a little bit more offensively? Well, one, we got to set screens. We've got to get stops. If we're getting stops, we can play in transition. That opens up a lot for us. Yeah, you guys are hard to beat when you're out and running. We'll see if that happens more. Thanks, coach. Back to you. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. It is a wonderful night for basketball and a wonderful time to get a quick, wonderful rundown of how the wonderful West looks early on in this wonderful season. Is that too many wonderfuls? No, you're wonderful. When you look at Los Angeles, they've had some hiccups early on, but I don't think that takes away from the potential of this team. 
with their talent and coaching, they could easily mount a challenge for the top spot before it's over. And turning our attention back to this game, guys, LeBron James had his fingerprints all over that first half. He's the player of his generation. The way LeBron is holding up, man, maybe a couple of generations. Well, it's never a surprise to see him impose his will in the game. It's happening again tonight. And that concludes halftime. Now time to send it over to Kevin Harlan as the game's about to resume. We've played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. When it comes to the essential components of a winning team, GA, how much importance do you place on veteran leadership? Kevin, I think it's important. You, you want a few guys in the locker room who've seen it all. Players who can keep the ship steady if the team kind of goes awry or, or has a tough stretch. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Down in the block, it's LeBron and Davis. Russell is out there with Reddish. And it's Prince in at the three spot. Now here's LeBron. And Reddish, the bucket on the assist by James. James has got his third assist on the night. Pass to Stewart. He kicks it to Thompson. Passes it to Cunningham. And here is Duran. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. The shot by Thompson, no good. Los Angeles leading by 13. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Lakers remain on their grind. Darvin Ham says, I'm preaching daily preparation. From the rest you're getting, how you're taking care of your body, sleep habits, nutrition, workouts, recovery, film work, being efficient with your practice time, and your shoot-arounds. Winning habits are built daily. Kevin. I'm very tired after saying all that. Back to you. <laughs> I'm sure you are. They actually do all of it. David, thank you for that detailed report. When it comes to longevity and skill, no one has done it better than LeBron James. He's in a category all to himself. Now here's Hayes. Stewart, a screen for Hayes. James with some nice D. Starting the half with three straight misses. Not how they envisioned this one. LeBron is doubled. Cunningham against Russell. Over Stewart. And another basket for the Lakers. Three for three, and that's always a good way to start the second half. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Cunningham looking it over. Thompson against Prince. Down low, here's Cunningham. It's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Cunningham's got his second bucket of the game to go. Finally, they get one to drop. That's one of their first four here in the third. Russell sets a screen for Reddish. Kicks it to LeBron. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Tremendous body control. LeBron takes the hit, sinks the shot, now gets a chance to add another point to his total. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. Austin Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. Oh. 
now a timeout called by Detroit. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some of the stats for Anthony Davis. And the stat to look at is his steal total over the last five games. He's been focusing more on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot tougher on D. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Cunningham finds Stewart. Stewart with a screen on Prince. Thompson passes to Stewart. Sturdy play by Stewart. Sticking with his shot and drawing a foul. For Detroit, they have gone two of four at the free throw line. free throw no good an effective role player Isaiah Stewart is reliable when it comes to rebounding and blocking shots he hits the second from the line and here's the Lakers they're on an 11 to 3 run right now Shoots from the line. LeBron can't get it to go. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Pistons passing it around. Cunningham. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle. So a chance at the line for one more. And when you foul Cunningham, you really got to whack him. Or he still figures out how to score. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. That's good from Cunningham. What you get with Kay Cunningham is a crafty scorer who also makes everyone around him better. I got it. Who's watching him? Davis kicks to Russell. James sets the screen for Russell. Prince in the corner. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by the Pistons. Thompson passes to Hayes. Here's Cunningham. Uncovered. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Dishes it to James. And it's Russell in the corner. Back to James. Kicks it out to Prince. No oh, good with the triple. Pistons trail by 15. 
Thompson dishes to Cunningham. Cunningham on the wing. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. For the Pistons, Bagley, he's checked in for Stewart. And it's Jaden Ivey in for Cade Cunningham. Hachimur is checked in for the Lakers. One forty-three left in the third. Outside Bagley. Here's Ivy and slam dunk by Ivy. Ferocious with the ball in hand. Jane Ivy leaving no doubt. And you know there had to be some pressure on Marvin Bagley when he came into the league. Yeah, GA not only being the number two overall pick, but coming from an NBA family. His grandfather was in the NBA as well. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Los Angeles. Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And also they are working the opposition from the mid range. Continuing to fire away with confidence from there. Wood he's checked in for Russell. And the second free throw, good. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the Detroit Pistons. They trail by 14. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And the Lakers making a change here. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You take a look at the Pistons. They were hoping to get off to a better start to the season. Things are still early, so they still may have a chance. Here's Ivy, and slam dunk by Ivy. An unselfish guy who enjoys setting his guys up. That Bagley has impressive vision for a big fella. Pass to Reeves. 102 left here in the third quarter. Here's Hood Shafino. Still yet to score. And let the big man eat. Throw it up to Wood, and he'll complete that. And there's the pass to Ivy. Here's Sasser. And he's going up for the alley -oop. And slam dunk by Ivy. Flying high, Jake Ivy. Watch out below. Pass to Reeves. Wood sets a screen. From the arc, a nice shot by Hood Shafino. Hood Shafino's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. 
Shot and game clock separated by five. Here's Sasser. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Just five on the clock. Beyond the arc. Trains the three-pointer. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. And so it's Los Angeles with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We come back right after this. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter form. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Jaden Ivey is out there with Bagley. Then it's Kate Cunningham. Then there's Wiseman. And it's Sasser in at the one. That's the five and the four for the Pistons. Fires from the wing. Cunningham's shot is off. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Passes to Wood. Pass to James. And they double up LeBron. Here's Reeves. Lakers working the ball around now. It's stolen by Wiseman. Now here's Ivy. Defense is right there. The pass to Bagley. Wood comes with the double team. Five on the clock. Buries the 20-footer. Sasser's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Pistons. James against Ivy. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. good on that one. The Pistons making a change here. Stewart's checked in. Russell, he's checked in for the Lakers. And he's good on the second. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Chimura against Ivy over LeBron. Here's Wiseman, and the layup is good. You just can't teach size and length, and Wiseman beats everyone to the ball for that second chance opportunity. Out to Russell, takes a three. Los Angeles with another miss. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Cunningham finds Stewart. Stewart with the screen of Hachimura. The shot by Ivy, no good. Los Angeles leading by 11. James outside. And they double up James. Back to Hachimura. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Russell's got three assists in the game. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been 
Paulus. Here's Sasser. He's guarded by Russell. From deep, here's Wiseman. And finished off by Wiseman. And get used to seeing that for years to come. Wiseman working in that pick and roll action and cashing in. Los Angeles calls timeout. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Both teams deciding to change it up. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. During that break, Coach Darvin Ham talked to his team. Now, he kept it simple in the huddle. He said, play smart. If we don't beat ourselves, we walk away with the win. Keep it simple, and we got this. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Russell passes to LeBron, to the paint. And Davis with the basket on the assist by LeBron. LeBron's got four assists in the game. Russell against Cunningham. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Earlier in the game, they had a 19-point lead. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the off night. You won't find a much better alley-oop partner. AD flying to the rim. Now a timeout called by Detroit. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, LeBron James. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game. And it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. 
He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over. Pistons trail by 16. Pass to Duran. Ivy on the wing. Pistons passing it around. It's stolen by Davis. Outside Russell. LeBron outside. Pulls up on the elbow. Duran pulls it in. The Pistons have gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Now here's Hayes. Started by Prince. Back to Hayes. Shot clock at six. Here's Durant. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Excellent move to score the basketball despite a weak pick. Lakers leading by 14. Here's LeBron. Oh, no, he didn't. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Lakers. Not only did they shoot the ball better, but they had more assists. Yeah, I thought the passing in terms of finding the open man gave them the higher percentage shots. The ball movement was key for the win. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for LeBron. He really played at his preferred pace. Never let adjustments by the defense speed him up or slow him down. Yeah, they can count this one in the win column. It has been a tremendous effort. I love what we saw from them tonight, and I'm sure they'll try to replicate it next time out. Here's Stewart. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. And you got to like that they found something positive here, something that maybe carry overs into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. And it's a completely new group for Los Angeles. Fifty one seconds left in the fourth quarter. Pass to Hachimura. Here's Reeves. Pass to Christie. Launches a three. Good on the triple. And the Lakers lead by 17. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Drills the three-pointer. Matching baskets from the perimeter and earmark of today's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Here's Reeves. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, AD. Efficient night offensively. What got you going there? I got in the gym yesterday and just played some one on one. Get back in the rhythm, get some game shots, and it helped me out tonight. Um, that's it. You know, I just try to stay with it. I'm confident in my game, confident in everything that I do, every shot that I take, and tonight it went in. Yeah, you were rolling, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. Now for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA here on 2K Sports. As New Balance presents our player of the game, LeBron James.